Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to get photos displaying as a screensaver uh, on an Apple TV. So we've got a TV back here running an Apple TV. This is a nice earth screensaver, but you may have some photos, some good memories of home, family, friends, uh, and you wanna be able to display those onto your Apple TV. The steps are very, very easy. We're gonna cover how to do that from a Mac. So you're gonna need a Mac to do this. Uh, if you have a Windows PC, uh, we're gonna go through that on another video that is not for this video. Today we're gonna be focusing on the Mac OS. So let's now just log in to your Mac. We're gonna go to, our, to my screen on my Mac and show you how to get the photos off your computer onto your iCloud essentially and then displaying them on your Apple TV that's behind me. Okay, so here we are logged in. We are running uh, macOS Catalina. Uh, again, this process is going to be very similar on earlier versions of macOS. If you're running Mojave or earlier versions, uh, the process is really going to be the same. But from your Mac, we want to open up the Photos app. So down here, I've got Photos listed. Uh, if you don't have it on here, you can also open this up from the Finder and Photos um, inside the Applications area within the Finder. Now, Photos is pre-installed, pre-populated by uh, your Mac when you first buy it, when you first install Mac OS, it will already come in there by default. Let's go ahead and open this, assuming that you have been using uh, the Photos app. Uh, because this is really the application that we are going to use to be able to copy the photos um, onto your Apple TV and display them on your Apple TV. So uh, if you have photos you know, in multiple folders um, on your computer, if you're using a different photo management application, then this guide uh, won't really help. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is you need to copy those photos, import those photos, into your photos library, into this photos application to be able to do what we needed to do. So if you have, as I said, if you've got a folder called photos on your desktop, somewhere in your Macintosh hard drive, go ahead and grab those, import them. You can create multiple albums within here. So right clicking under this albums area, creating albums, and then just you know sorting them accordingly uh, to make it nice and easy to manage all of your photos. Uh, that's the first step. So we're using photos. Now, there is an area in here called uh, shared. Okay, you'll see it right here. And if you select on the activity area, you'll see that currently there are no shared albums. So shared albums is what we're going to be using to be able to essentially share that album worth of photos onto your um, Apple TV. Now we are gonna be using uh, your iCloud. So you need to have um, some form of storage on an iCloud account. If you don't have an iCloud account, you'll need to create that first. Uh, but if you're running a Mac, if you're running generally an Apple TV, you may have already configured it. Uh, if you've got an iPhone, an iPad, you may already have one there as well. So make sure that you have that Apple ID handy because that's what that's what essentially what we're going to use. Now from within here, we can now select start sharing. Now it's gonna say you need to turn on shared albums and you can do this through the preferences of your settings. So if I click on settings, it's gonna open this area up right here. Okay, this is the same area by accessing photos, preferences up the top. I can also access the settings area right here. General is what we're seeing right here. Under iCloud, we now see iCloud photos we see my photo stream and we see shared albums. Now we're gonna be using shared albums. So this is create an album to share with other people and subscribe to other people's shared albums. So go ahead and tick on shared albums. All right, and that is really the first step. We have now enabled shared albums on your, um, on your photos, okay? Now I can click on close. You'll see that now some stuff has changed. Okay, I've now, you can now see right here that there's some more information. Uh, currently it's empty. And then I've got shared albums right here. Now I've actually already created um, a couple of shared albums in previous, um, you know, in other photos libraries that I already have. So I've already got a holidays album and I've got one here when I went to Japan and South Korea. So they've already been pre-populated and I've already dumped a whole bunch of photos into those. What I want to now do is create two new shared albums so that I can display them. 
on my Apple TV. Now I've got two albums on my actual computer right here. I've got one called Park. I've got a nice set of photos in here and I've got a nice set of flower photos in here. And I wanna have both of these displaying on my Apple TV. So I need to go into shared albums right here and click on the little plus symbol right here. And it's gonna ask me what the, uh, the album should be called. We're gonna say park photos. I can leave a comment. I can invite other people because really what shared albums lets you do as well is you can share that with family and friends. You can give them the shared um, access to your shared folder, to your shared album as well. So we're gonna just leave that as the default. No, we're not gonna do anything else here, park photos. And we're gonna create one more called flower photos. So the next step is now to copy some photos into those particular locations. So let's say I've got park photos. I like all of these photos. I'm gonna select them all. And then really all I need to do is I need to now drag them into park photos. That may take a little bit of time because essentially what it now needs to do is it now needs to upload those photos up onto the cloud. While that's doing that, I'm also gonna do the same thing for flowers. I'm gonna select all my flower photos and copy, drag those in to flower photos. Now remember this may take some time, so just be patient, let it do its thing. Okay, so the photos have now um, shown up. So they're now within flower photos and park photos. That means that they are now on the cloud. So we're now gonna switch over to the Apple TV. So here we are on the Apple TV. Now, the very first thing that you want to need to do is you need to um, connect your Apple TV to your Apple ID. Uh, you'll see that there are a number of applications right here and I've got my settings right here. So I can click on settings and down to users and accounts. There are two accounts here uh, on your Apple TV that we care about. One is iCloud and one is home sharing. You wanna have both of these set up so that they are logged in to your iCloud, to your, your Apple ID essentially. Generally, when you set up your Apple TV for the very first time, you need to set it up and, and connect it to an Apple ID. If you don't have one, it'll ask you to create one, but get that logged in first. So go ahead and select uh, iCloud and home sharing and then log in with your Apple ID first. Once you've done that, Go up to the photos application right here. Open that up and it now gives you an option to turn on iCloud photos. So if you haven't done this yet, uh, do this now. So click on turn on. It will then just say when you turn on iCloud photos, your photos and videos can be viewed by everyone who uses your Apple ID, which is what we really want it to do. So turn on iCloud photos. It will then ask you to input your password for, the, uh, for your Apple ID. Throw that in and then sign in. If everything goes well, you're now gonna be presented with some photos that you have shared into your iCloud account. So if you scroll over to shared, you'll see that right here, there are my four albums, flower photos, park photos, and then a couple of holiday ones. So uh, inside my flower one, other photos that we uploaded. You can literally just select one of these photos and actually view them and then swipe to be able to see those photos that you have now uploaded from your computer. Now that that is done, let's go back to the home. So now we can go into settings and from within here, we wanna select the general tab up the very top and then the second option down, which is screensaver. Now by default, uh, the type of screensaver that this is using is Arial, which are those um, screensavers that Apple will release on a weekly basis, uh, the videos of you know drone footage, etc. Uh, but you can now select those photos that you've just uploaded by going into type and down the very bottom, you've got my photos. So if you select on my photos, your shared folders will now show up right in here. Select park photos, we want that one to be it. And now I click back and back, and that is really it. So now the type is my photos, and from within my photos, it's set as park photos. So I can now go back, and I can now change a few other things. I can select uh, when I want it to start, 
if I wanted to start up to five minutes, if I want to it, uh, you know, for it to play during music and podcast. So if it is playing some music from your Apple TV, your screensaver can still go on. And then what sort of transition do you want? How do you want the photos to go from one to another? So there's some cool ones. For example, you got origami. We can select that and then we can click on preview and we can sort of see what that looks like. All right, nice and easy. I can click back. I can change that to flip up and go to preview. And then sort of shows you a preview of what that flip up transition looks like. Uh, one that I generally like to use is just random. Um, so it will pick a, a random one of these and it will change every time. All right, so I can select random and preview and let it do its thing. So there you go, they are the simple settings on how to transfer photos over to your iCloud and to your Apple TV and then display them as a screensaver. Hope you found this video helpful. I would love it if you liked this video and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. We'll see you next time.